Two legendary French actresses, Bridget Bardot and Catherine Deneuve. Allo, allo, allo. Donc vous en profitiez avant qu'ils me mettent en prison. Est-ce que je suis folle? Ça doit être la fièvre. Brigitte Bardot, a French actress, singer, and model, was like a shooting star that lit up the sky of the 1950s and 1960s. Her life story is a roller coaster ride filled with drama, resilience, and a fierce determination to break free from stereotypes. Born into a wealthy family in Paris in 1934, Bardot's childhood was a mix of comfort and conflict. Her parents had different personalities. Her dad was strict, while her mom was more easygoing. Growing up during World War II wasn't easy either. The Nazi occupation of France left its mark on young Brigitte, teaching her to be tough and resourceful. Brigitte Bardot grew up in a seven-bedroom apartment in an affluent corner of Paris, but her childhood wasn't entirely rosy. According to Barnett Singer's 2013 biography, Brigitte Bardot, a biography, her parents, Louis Bardot and Anne-Marie, ran a strict, Catholic, conservative household. They reportedly dictated what Brigitte and her sister, Mijanou, wore each day and demanded the two girls maintain proper etiquette. Anna Marie exercised control over who her daughters played with, which left Brigitte feeling inferior at best and isolated and lonely at worst. Louis and Anne Marie even <laughs> Brigitte's beloved rabbit, Noiro, and served him for dinner, which likely played a role in her later decision to become an animal rights activist. As Brigitte told Singer, she and Mijanou once accidentally broke a vase in their family apartment. Their father whipped them 20 times each as punishment. But what stung even more, according to Brigitte, was that he took the punishment beyond the physical and into the psychological by ignoring his two daughters. He and Anne Marie began addressing the two girls with the French pronoun vous, which is used to address strangers and formal acquaintances. Although such incidents had a profound impact on Brigitte, she has since been able to find some merit in their parenting style. My parents gave me a strict upbringing, she once said via biography, which at times has caused me to suffer distress. But today I am grateful to them for it. Brigitte's days were spent at home for fear of the strict watch of the occupying forces. But within those walls, she found her calling. Her mother, recognizing her talent, saw a potential ballet star in her daughter. So, at the tender age of seven, Brigitte was enrolled in Cour Hatemer, a private school where she could nurture her skills. School wasn't the only place where Brigitte thrived. She spent hours at a local dance studio, perfecting her moves. Three days a week, she'd attend classes, leaving her with plenty of time to follow her passion. And it wasn't long before her dedication caught the eye of professionals. In 1949, Brigitte was accepted into the prestigious Conservatoire de Paris, where she honed her ballet skills under the guidance of Russian choreographer Boris Kniazev. But her education didn't stop there. She also studied at a nearby Catholic high school, balancing academics with her love for dance. It was around this time that fate intervened in the form of Hélène Gordon Lazareff, the director of Elle and Le Jardin des Modes magazines. Recognizing Brigitte's natural charm and beauty, she offered her a job as a junior fashion model. Little did anyone know that this would be the first step towards stardom. At just 15 years old, Brigitte graced the cover of Elle magazine, capturing the attention of director Marc Allegre. He saw something special in her and offered her a role in his film Les Lauriers Sans Coupé. But Brigitte's journey to the silver screen wasn't without its challenges. Her parents, wary of the glamorous world of cinema, initially opposed her dreams. However, her grandfather saw her potential and encouraged her to pursue her passion. It was during the audition for Allegre's film that Brigitte met Roger Vadim, the man who would change her life forever. Their love story wasn't without its hurdles. Brigitte's parents disapproved of their relationship, threatening to send her away to England. In a moment of desperation, Brigitte even contemplated drastic measures. But love prevailed, and her parents eventually relented, on the condition that she marry Vadim when she turned 18. Bardot has been married four times, with her current marriage lasting far longer than the previous three combined. By her own count, she has had a total of 17 romantic relationships. Bardot would characteristically leave for another relationship when the present was getting lukewarm. 
she said, I have always looked for passion. That's why I was often unfaithful. And when the passion was coming to an end, I was packing my suitcase. On 20th of December 1952, aged 18, Bardot married director Roger Vadim. They separated in 1956 after she became involved with And God Created Woman, co-star Jean-Louis Trintignant, divorcing the next year. Trintignant at the time was married to actress Stéphane Audron. Bardot and Vadim had no children together, but remained in touch for the rest of his life and even collaborated on later projects. Bardot and Trintignant lived together for about two years, spanning the period before and after Bardot's divorce from Vadim, but they never married. Their relationship was complicated by Trintignant's frequent absence due to military service and Bardot's affair with musician Gilbert Bacot. After her separation from Vadim, Bardot acquired a historic property dating from the 16th century called Le Castellet in Cannes. The 14-bedroom villa, surrounded by lush gardens, olive trees, and vineyards, consisted of several buildings. She bought a second property called La Madrague, located in Saint-Tropez. Her breakup with Trintignant was followed in quick order by a reported nervous breakdown in Italy, according to newspaper reports attempt with sleeping pills two days earlier was also noted but was denied by her public relations manager. She recovered within weeks and began a relationship with actor Jacques Charrier. She became pregnant well before they were married on 18th of June 1959. Bardot's only child, her son, Nicolas Jacques Charrier, was born on 11 January 1960. Bardot had an affair with Glenn Ford. After she and Charrier divorced in 1962, Nicola was raised in the Charrier family and had little contact with his biological mother until his adulthood. Sami Frey was mentioned as the reason for her divorce from Charrier. Bardot was enamored of Frey, but he quickly left her. Bardot's third marriage was to German millionaire playboy Gunter Sachs, lasting from 14 July 1966 to 7 October 1969, though they had separated the previous year. While filming Shalako, she rejected Sean Connery's advances. She said, It didn't last long because I wasn't a James Bond girl. I have never succumbed to his charm. She began dating Patrick Gillis, who co-starred with her in The Bear and the Doll, but she ended their relationship. Bardo dated bartender, ski instructor Christian Kalt, nightclub owner Luigi Gigi Rizzi, singer-songwriter Serge Gainsbourg, writer John Gilmore, actor Warren Beatty, and Laurent Verges, her co-star in Don Juan, or If Don Juan Were a Woman. Bardot appeared in a nude photo shoot in Playboy magazine, which celebrated her 40th birthday. In 1975, she entered a relationship with artist Mimiroslav Brozek and posed for some of his sculptures. Brozek was also an actor. His stage name is Jean Blaise. The couple lived together at La Madrague. The two of them separated in December 1979. From 1980 to 1985, Bardot had a live-in relationship with French TV producer Alain Bougrand Dubourg. On 27 September 1983, the eve of her 49th birthday, Bardot took an overdose of sleeping pills or tranquilizers with red wine. She had to be rushed to the hospital where her life was saved after a stomach pump was used to evacuate the pills from her body. Bardo was diagnosed with cancer in 1984. She refused to undergo chemotherapy treatment and decided only to do radiation therapy. She recovered in 1986. Bardo's fourth and current husband is Bernard Dormal. They have been married since 16th August 1992. In 2018, in an interview accorded to Le Journal du Dimanche, she denied rumors of relationships with Johnny Halliday, Jimi Hendrix, and Mick Jagger. Brigitte Bardot married Roger Vadim, who was six years her senior, when she turned 18 years old, per the Sydney Morning Herald. The pair met when Bardot was just 16 years old. He made his directorial debut four years later with Bardot in a starring role in the 1956 film And God Created Woman. Bardot's role in the movie turned her into a overnight and ultimately created the image that followed her entire film career. Bardot then divorced Vadim and embarked on an affair with her married and God Created Woman co-star Jean-Louis Trintignant. As Bardot wrote in her 1996 autobiography, Initials BB, via the Sydney Morning Herald, she had four husbands and more than a hundred lovers. 
I had a visceral need to be loved, to be desired, to belong body and soul to the man I admire, whom I love, whom I respect. Bardot wrote in initials BB. Via AP News, while discussing her affairs with men including French crooner Sergei Gainsbourg and American actor Warren Beatty. She also wrote about being by actor Jacques Charrier, who fathered her only son. She has been married to Bernard Dormal since 1992. As noted by People, Brigitte Bardot has attempted to commit suicide at least four times over the course of several decades, as reported by the Sydney Morning Herald. The first time was when she was 16 years old and wanted to marry a 22-year-old director's assistant named Roger Vadim. When her parents found out about the affair, they threatened to send Bardot to England to keep her away from the older man, and vice versa. Bardot responded by sticking her head in a gas oven. Thankfully, her parents discovered her in time. But on September 28, 1960, her 26th birthday, Bardot attempted suicide again by taking a bottle load of sleeping pills and slitting her wrists. At age 58, Bardot took an overdose of tranquilizers and had her stomach pumped, as reported by The Guardian. Brigitte was overcome with fatigue and took too much medication to go to sleep, her husband Bernard Dormale said at the time, via People. When you live such intense moments as I have done, there is always a bill to pay, Bardot told The Guardian. You cannot escape the distress which follows great happiness. Despite her continued attempts to end her life, Bardo has now lived for nearly nine decades and has found a certain degree of peace. I'm happier in my routine life today than when I was chased after by 100 photographers, she told The Guardian. You mustn't think I am dissatisfied. That would be a form of bitterness. My life is now what I always wanted, what I dreamed about subconsciously. In 1956, at the wild beginning of her career, Bardo was asked what she missed most about her life before fame and fortune, to which she replied, via people, a life without drama. On February 8, 1958, French and Italian newspapers reported that Bardot had intentionally overdosed on sleeping pills two days prior in a suicide attempt, as reported by the Los Angeles Times at the time. Bardot's public relations manager denied these claims, stating that Bardot had a mere case of food poisoning. In any case, the Los Angeles Times reported that the French actor was recovering from a nervous breakdown at Cortina d'Ampezzo, a winter sports arena in northern Italy. Her sister, Marie, and her French newsman friend, Paul Chalon, were reportedly in tow and staying at Hotel Miramonti in the mountains above Merano in Italy. The so-called breakdown came after Bardot split from her partner Jean-Louis Trentignon, with whom she had been living for two years prior. According to Brigitte Bardot, by Barnett Singer, the pair split because Trentignon was frequently away on military service, and she'd had an affair with French musician Gilbert Becaud. Brigitte Bardot had her only child, a son named Nicolas, with her second husband, Jacques Charrier. Detailing her 1959 pregnancy in her memoir, Initials BB, Bardot wrote, via the The Independent, I looked at my flat, slender belly in the mirror like a dear friend upon whom I was about to close a coffin lid. She went on to reveal that she had punched herself in the stomach repeatedly and asked her doctor for morphine in an attempt to terminate the pregnancy. To top it all off, she referred to her then-unborn child as a cancerous tumor and added that she would have preferred to give birth to a little dog. Following the release of the memoir, Nicola and the elder Charrier sued Bardot for the remarks. A French court ordered her to pay $28,000, approximately $38,000, in damages, and that certain passages of the book should be prefaced with warning labels. Charrier reportedly denied Bardot access to their son once he was born. Nicolas did not invite Bardot to his wedding in 1902, and they have gone as much as a decade without seeing one another. Still, they reportedly reconciled in the 1990s, after the birth of his first child and her first grandchild. I'm not made to be a mother, Bardot once said, via The Independent. I'm not adult enough. I know it's horrible to have to admit that, but I'm not adult enough to take care of a child. In a 2014 interview for the Daily Mail, Brigitte Bardot discussed parallels between herself and Marilyn Monroe beyond their respective eye conditions. We were very different, she said, but we were both victims of our image which imprisoned us. While beauty is generally seen as a gift, Bardot found the preoccupation with her looks uncomfortable and stifling. 
As a child, Bardo believed she was ugly. She said that as she ages, she doesn't have the time or the desire to gaze at her navel. From her breakthrough role in And God Created Woman, directed by her first husband, Bardot was largely definite by superficial attributes. Men didn't know how to separate the love they felt for me from what I represented in the eyes of the world. She told The Guardian, adding that she felt disdain for the watchful gaze of men and fans who saw her as a commodity. I could sense watching she said. I don't know what it means to sit quietly in a bistro on a terrace or in the theater without being approached by someone. I still can't stand being watched. Certain people want to embrace me, to touch me. Bardot wanted to shrink from view because despite her oft-ostentatious on-screen persona, she was shy. The sheer dread that fills me when I am face to face with most humans made me suffer atrociously during my life as an actress. She wrote in her 2019 book, Tears of Battle, an animal rights memoir. Bardot used her platform to champion environmental conservation, animal rights, and social justice, leaving an indelible mark on the world far beyond her cinematic endeavors. Bardot's environmental activism was ignited by her profound love for nature and wildlife. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, she vocalized concerns about environmental degradation, particularly focusing on issues such as deforestation, pollution, and the preservation of natural habitats. Her efforts weren't confined to mere rhetoric. She actively supported organizations dedicated to conservation efforts and campaigned for stricter regulations to protect the environment. Bardot's influence played a pivotal role in raising awareness about environmental issues, inspiring individuals worldwide to take action in safeguarding the planet for future generations. Her advocacy laid the groundwork for modern environmental movements, demonstrating the power of celebrity voices in effecting positive change. A staunch animal rights activist, Bardot fervently campaigned against animal cruelty in various forms, including for farming, bullfighting, and the use of animals in entertainment. Her outspoken condemnation of such practices garnered significant attention, sparking public discourse and prompting legislative action. Bardo's advocacy extended beyond mere advocacy. She founded her own animal rights organization, the Brigitte Bardo Foundation, dedicated to protecting animals from exploitation and abuse. Through the foundation, she financed rescue operations, lobbied for animal welfare laws, and raised awareness about the ethical treatment of animals. Her unwavering commitment to animal rights earned her both admiration and criticism, underscoring the contentious nature of the issues she championed. Nevertheless, Bardo remained resolute in her mission to give voice to the voiceless and affect systemic change in the treatment of animals worldwide. Bardo's activism wasn't limited to environmental and animal rights issues. She also engaged in political activism and advocated for various social causes. Throughout her life, she aligned herself with movements promoting gender equality, LGBTQ rights, and humanitarian aid. Despite facing backlash from conservative factions for her progressive views, Bardo fearlessly used her platform to amplify marginalized voices and challenge societal norms. Her advocacy for social justice transcended national boundaries, resonating with individuals worldwide and inspiring solidarity across diverse communities. As Bardo transitioned out of the spotlight in her later years, she redirected her focus towards her personal life and continued her philanthropic endeavors. Retreating from the public eye, she sought solace in her passion for animal welfare and environmental conservation, devoting herself wholeheartedly to her advocacy work. However, her withdrawal from public life did not diminish her influence or impact. Bardo's legacy as an activist and advocate continued to inspire future generations, serving as a testament to the enduring power of compassion and conviction in the pursuit of social change. Beyond her illustrious career in acting and modeling, Bardot found fulfillment in her roles as an activist, philanthropist, and humanitarian. Her post-retirement years were marked by a sense of purpose and dedication to causes greater than herself, epitomizing the transformative power of leveraging fame for social good. Brigitte Bardot, with her sultry gaze, tussled blonde locks, and effortlessly chic style, has long been hailed as a fashion icon. 
Emerging in the 1950s and 1960s, Bardot's influence on fashion remains palpable even today. Her signature looks, characterized by figure-hugging silhouettes, playful prints, and a hint of French allure, continue to inspire designers and fashion enthusiasts alike. Bardot's fashion journey began with her breakout role in the 1956 film And God Created Woman. Her portrayal of the free-spirited Juliet catapulted her to international fame and cemented her status as a style icon. Bardo's on-screen wardrobe, consisting of form-fitting dresses, off-the-shoulder tops, and capri pants, epitomized the epitome of Parisian chic. Throughout her career, Bardo's off-duty style was just as captivating as her on-screen persona. Often photographed in casual yet sophisticated ensembles, she effortlessly blended elegance with a touch of bohemian flair. Bardot's penchant for simple yet impactful pieces, such as Breton stripes, wide-brimmed hats, and ballet flats, created a timeless aesthetic that remains relevant to this day. Bardot's influence on fashion extended beyond her sartorial choices. Her embodiment of liberation and individuality resonated with women worldwide. By embracing her natural beauty and rejecting conventional standards, Bardo paved the way for a new era of femininity characterized by confidence and self-expression. Brigitte Bardot's impact on beauty standards transcended her physical appearance. She challenged the traditional ideals of beauty and redefined allure on her own terms. With her tousled hair, smoky eyes, and bee-stung lips, Bardot exuded a sense of effortless sensuality that captivated audiences and set new benchmarks for glamour. Bardot's signature beauty aesthetic was characterized by its simplicity and understated allure. She favored minimal makeup, opting for soft, natural tones that accentuated her features without overshadowing her inherent radiance. Bardot's tousled hair became her trademark, symbolizing a carefree attitude towards beauty that emphasized authenticity over artifice. In an era dominated by rigid beauty standards, Bardot's unconventional allure challenged the status quo and inspired women to embrace their unique features. Her refusal to conform to societal expectations paved the way for a more inclusive definition of beauty that celebrated individuality and self-acceptance. Bardot's influence on beauty trends continues to resonate in contemporary culture, with countless celebrities and influencers drawing inspiration from her timeless glamour. From the resurgence of cat-eye eyeliner to the revival of voluminous hairstyles, Bardot's impact on beauty remains as relevant today as it was during her heyday. Brigitte Bardot's influence on popular culture transcends the realms of fashion and beauty, encompassing film, music, and beyond. As one of the most iconic figures of the 20th century, Bardot's impact reverberates across generations, shaping the cultural landscape in profound ways. In cinema, Bardot's magnetism on screen revolutionized the portrayal of female challenging conventions and redefining the role of women in film. Her fearless performances in films such as Contempt and Viva Maria showcased her versatility as an actress and solidified her status as a cinematic legend. Beyond the silver screen, Bardo's influence permeated the world of music, inspiring countless artists with her undeniable allure and magnetic presence. From Serge Gainsbourg to The Beatles, Bardo's influence on the music industry is evident in the lyrics, melodies, and imagery of some of the most iconic songs of the era. Bardo's cultural impact extends far beyond her artistic endeavors. Her passionate advocacy for animal rights and environmental conservation has made her a revered figure in the realm of activism. Through her foundation, she continues to champion causes close to her heart, using her platform to raise awareness and affect positive change. Throughout her illustrious career, Brigitte Bardot received numerous accolades and honors in recognition of her contributions to film and culture. From prestigious awards to heartfelt tributes, Bardot's legacy continues to be celebrated by audiences and industry peers alike. Among her most notable accolades are the Cannes Film Festival Best Actress Award, which she received for her performance in Viva Maria in 1965. This prestigious honor solidified Bardot's reputation as one of the most talented actresses of her generation and remains a testament to her enduring impact on cinema. 
Bardot has been the recipient of countless tributes and honors from fans and colleagues around the world. From retrospective exhibitions to dedicated fan clubs, Bardot's influence continues to be commemorated in various forms, ensuring that her legacy remains alive and vibrant. Behind the glamour and fame, Brigitte Bardot's career was marked by resilience, determination, and a tireless work ethic. Despite facing numerous challenges in an industry fraught with scrutiny and expectation, Bardot remained steadfast in her pursuit of artistic excellence. Insights into Bardot's work ethic reveal a woman committed to her craft, unafraid to push boundaries and challenge convention. Known for her meticulous preparation and dedication to her roles, Bardot approached each project with unwavering passion and commitment, earning the admiration and respect of her peers. Anecdotes from colleagues and collaborators offer a glimpse into Bardot's collaborative spirit and infectious energy on set. Despite her status as a global icon, Bardot remained approachable and down-to-earth, fostering a sense of camaraderie and mutual respect among cast and crew. Yet, Bardot's journey was not without its challenges. From navigating the pressures of fame to battling against typecasting and sexism in the industry, she faced numerous obstacles throughout her career. Despite these setbacks, Bardot persevered, carving out a legacy that transcends the silver screen and continues to inspire generations of artists and admirers alike. Brigitte Bardot's influence on fashion, beauty, and popular culture is undeniable. As a fashion icon, she continues to inspire designers and fashion enthusiasts with her timeless style and effortless glamour. Her impact on beauty standards challenged conventions and celebrated individuality, while her contributions to cinema and activism have left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. Through accolades, honors, and tributes, Bardo's legacy continues to be celebrated, ensuring that her influence endures for generations to come. Behind the scenes, Bardo's work ethic and resilience serve as a testament to her unwavering dedication to her craft, inspiring admiration and respect from colleagues and collaborators alike. Brigitte Bardot's story is not just one of fame and fortune, but of passion, perseverance, and the enduring power of artistic expression. Whether through her charitable endeavors or her unwavering commitment to environmental and animal rights causes, Bardot left an indelible imprint on the world, shaping the course of history through her tireless advocacy and unwavering determination. Brigitte Bardot's legacy endures as a testament to the transformative power of celebrity activism. Through her courage, compassion, and unwavering commitment to social and environmental causes, she blessed a trail for future generations of activists and advocates, leaving behind a legacy that transcends the realms of entertainment and reverberates throughout the annals of history. As we reflect on her life and work, we are reminded of the profound impact that one individual can have in shaping a more just, compassionate, and sustainable world for all.